I thought my family loved my girlfriend, until she surprise showed up at a family dinner and we overheard them trash talking about her. I was planning on marrying this woman. I, 35, have been with my girlfriend, Sammy, 30, for just over a year now. She's amazing in every way, intelligent, beautiful, ambitious, well-educated, caring, and goofy. She's everything I've ever wanted. And up until last week, I thought my family felt the same way. Last week, I went to my parents' house for dinner. We get together as a family a few times a month, it's been a tradition with us for years now. Sammy usually joins us for these dinners, but had work obligations. I told my family she wouldn't be joining us that night. Halfway through dinner, I got up to go to the bathroom, and Sammy texted me that she was outside. She got off work early and came over to hang out. She would have normally walked in, which is normal, but she needed help bringing in some gifts. Sammy is leaving tomorrow for a work trip and a personal vacation to see some friends, so she won't be back until Thanksgiving. My brother and sister, twins, have their birthday next week, and my girlfriend had gifts for them. At this point, my family had no idea Sammy was there. We walked inside and headed to the kitchen and we overheard my family talking. My sister was saying that she was glad my girlfriend was gone because she couldn't stand a family night being ruined by my girlfriend being annoying. My brother and other sister agreed about how annoying and awful my girlfriend is. My dad made a comment about how they should be nice to Sammy. And my mom chimed in with, Sammy is nice and all but I can't believe he likes how fat she is, he can do so much better. My family, even my dad, agreed. And my sister piped up that I was dating down because I'm still rebounding from my last girlfriend, which was 5 years ago. I was floored. My family has always been so nice to Sammy and I've never heard them talk badly about her. I've never heard my family say mean things about anyone to be honest. Sammy walked into the kitchen and dumped the presents on the counter. She was crying and mumbled something about happy birthday and then took off out the door. My family looked shocked and a bit embarrassed. I asked my family what the heck was wrong with them and didn't stick around for an answer. I went after Sammy. She was in her car, crying. Now, Sammy is usually tough but family is super important to her. She has no family, aside from an alcoholic dad that she doesn't have any contact with. My family was like her surrogate family and something she always wanted. She was overjoyed when my family welcomed her and invited her to family events. The presents she brought my sister and brother were paintings she had spent many hours working on. And yes, she is fat. But, I prefer thick girls, always have. To me, she's gorgeous and exactly what I like. But even then, she's lost about 40 pounds since we started dating. I would love her at any weight and I'm proud of the work she's done. I have no idea what they mean about her being annoying. She comes when she's invited, usually brings baked goods or beer. She's taken my family out to dinner multiple times and is extremely generous with them. She's even become the go-to babysitter for my sister and her two kids, and she helped my brother get a job in her company. She pushed really hard to get him hired and put her professional reputation on the line. She's never asked for repayment or holds it over anyone. She even does the dishes when we come over for dinner. The thing that makes this even worse is I was planning on proposing to her in the next few months, and I had planned on asking my sisters to come with me to pick out her ring. Now, Sammy hasn't said much about it and hasn't talked to me much about this incident. She has always wanted a family and she doesn't understand why my family doesn't like her or what she's done wrong. She said she'd talk to me more when she gets back from her trip. I don't want to lose her over this. I would take her over my family. Sammy hasn't been her usual cheerful self this week and I've caught her crying more than once since this incident. I try to comfort her but she tries to play it that she's fine. At this point, I have no idea if I even want them in my life. All of them have reached out to me with weak apologies full of justifications. I asked my mom if she had apologized to Sammy, and my mom said I could pass on the apology. To be fair to them, all of them do feel bad about what happened and seemed extra embarrassed about this. But no one can give me exact reasons why she's annoying or how she's ruined family nights. My dad is the only reasonable one that has offered to apologize to Sammy directly. What do I do? I don't want to get rid of my family, but Sammy matters more to me at this point. I want Sammy to know I'm fully in her corner and I don't want her to feel guilty if I have to cut out my family. Edit, some people were asking questions so I want to add some things. Her family life is so freaking tragic and she deserved none of it. Her mother died when she was young and her dad crawled into bottle instead of deal with his grief. She always said on the day her mom died, she became an orphan. She also lost her only good family members in a span of 18 months, grandma, grandpa and aunt. She's been living on her own since she was 15. I did have a conversation with my sister that ended in, fuck off. She had no answer to what she found annoying about Sammy. Her justification was that she didn't think Sammy or I would hear what they were saying. That's what got me to tell her to piss off. Small update, I have decided to take Sammy on a vacation for Thanksgiving. I'm on the phone with a very helpful guy that's trying to find me a hotel room that isn't booked for that weekend. No matter what happens, I think this is going to be a tradition I build with her for the future, a relaxing weekend to ourselves while everyone else is running around buying knockoff iPads. Also, I talked to my dad briefly last night. He's pretty horrified by everything and has agreed to come over and apologize to Sammy and do it when Sammy feels up to hearing it. I have told Sammy all of this since it happened. She knows I'm choosing her over my family and that I would choose her over anyone. Update 2. First off, Sammy and I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We spent it out of town in a small skiing town. It was a great weekend and we spent a lot of time talking and discussing what to do about my family. Sammy was still pretty hurt over the matter but was adamant that I shouldn't cut all ties with my family. I told her that all depended on my family. My mom was in denial that I wouldn't be coming to Thanksgiving. After my last post, I let her know Sammy and I wouldn't be attending. 
She brushed it off until the day before Thanksgiving when she called to make sure I was bringing pie. I reminded her I wouldn't be at dinner and she broke down crying. She told me she was sorry for hurting Sammy and would like the chance to apologize. I let her know she'd have a chance after Thanksgiving. After we got back from our Thanksgiving trip, my parents came over for dinner. I had okayed this with Sammy. She thought my parents deserved a chance to make this right and frankly, I think she really wanted to mend things with my family. Dinner was, awkward, to say the least. My dad started out by offering Sammy a genuine apology. He told her he was extremely embarrassed and genuinely wanted to make things up to her. They had a nice chat. The talk with my mom, well, that went okay. My mom cried through most of it and tried to reinforce that she was very sorry. I couldn't tell if she was sorry or just upset that I was taking Sammy's side. I don't think Sammy was convinced either. A few days after dinner, my mom called Sammy and asked her to lunch to talk by themselves. Several comments in my last post mentioned that my family probably felt Sammy was annoying simply because they felt intimidated or projecting their own issues on her. I think that was spot on. Sammy went to lunch with my mom and they had a very long, good talk about everything. She said my mom felt jealous that Sammy was so educated and had the chance to get an education. And Sammy admitted to being jealous that my mom has a big family. Sammy opened up to my mom about the situation with her own family and living on her own since she was a teenager. I think that hit my mom very hard because she's always been surrounded by a big, loving family. And, I think she was horrified by her own behavior towards Sammy, who wanted to be a part of the family. Overall, I think things are better between my parents and Sammy. My younger sister reached out to Sammy after Thanksgiving. I don't think any of my siblings expected me to ditch family dinner and I heard they were pretty upset I went on vacation instead. My sister apologized over the phone. I don't know if it was enough, but it was a good step. Sammy says she's feeling pretty neutral about my youngest sister. She said she feels like my sister is more sorry she was caught, but Sammy appreciated the apology. My brother had to endure a very uncomfortable few weeks at work, while Sammy was traveling. I think by Thanksgiving, he was confident that Sammy wasn't going to screw with his job. When Sammy got back to work after our vacation, he went to her office to apologize. Again, I think he apologized just to appease us. But, he did it in person and didn't try to cop out. Like my sister, Sammy feels neutral about him. My other sister, my brother's twin, is the only holdout. She hasn't given Sammy an apology and seems pissed that she no longer has a built-in free babysitter. She's doubled down and said she has nothing to apologize for and Sammy is the one causing troubles. This has caused a bit of a rift in my family. My parents would like Sammy and I to come to Christmas dinner, but I'm not interested in being around my sister right now and I'm not going to subject Sammy to that. My parents have even suggested that my sister should stay home to make us more comfortable in coming. While I appreciate the sentiment, I would feel guilty about my sister being alone on Christmas, her kids will be with their dad. Sammy and I have plenty of offers from friends, my sister would probably not be able to find a place to go on short notice. Sammy has told my parents she would rather not create a bigger rift and will come over at another time. Sammy told me, privately, that while she has forgiven my family, she's not all the comfortable hanging out with my family just yet. I'm perfectly okay with this, I feel like taking some time for my family will be a good thing. Sammy and I are still deciding where to go on Christmas, probably to my best friend's house. Now on to the best part of the update, my best friend's wife went ring shopping with me. She let me go to all the chain stores and balked at the prices for the same ring in every store. She eventually took me to a local jeweler and we discussed a custom ring. The jeweler completely understood what I wanted and I decided she would be great at designing a ring. She's pretty backed up with orders, and said she'd be able to get to it in January. A few nights ago, she texted me a picture of a stone she had found, to see if it fit what I had in mind. Sammy saw the text and it led to an impromptu proposal. She said yes. So, now I have a fiancé. We haven't really told anyone yet. I'll tell my family at some point. But for now, I'm enjoying sharing this time with her. So, things are okay. Better than I hoped since my last post. I'm very sad about my sister because I miss her and her kids. And I miss my family. But, I feel good about my decisions. I feel like things will get better with my family, except my sister, in time. Sammy liked the idea of a destination wedding next summer, but we haven't even started any planning yet. Sammy told me after everything that's happened with my family, she feels confident that I have her back and that she finally has me as her true family.